Stand down, dive into its meaning. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're going to explore a phrase that might seem simple at first glance but carries different shades of meaning depending on its usage. Stand down. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of when and how to use this phrase correctly. The phrase, stand down, is a combination of the words, stand, and, down. On a very basic level, it implies a motion or action of settling down or relaxing from a position of readiness. For instance, in a military context, if troops are told to stand down, they are basically being told to relax from a combat-ready position or to halt aggressive action. Example, the general ordered the soldiers to stand down after realizing there was no imminent threat. Beyond the military context, stand down has found its way into everyday language. Here, it often means to back off, relax, or retreat from a situation. Example, when the two co-workers started arguing, their manager stepped in and told them both to stand down. The most crucial part about stand down is understanding the context in which it is being used. While its literal meaning might be relevant in some situations, it's often used in a more figurative sense. In a disagreement, stand down means to stop arguing. In a competition, stand down might mean to stop competing or to give up. In a work environment, it can mean to step back from responsibilities temporarily. Example, after working on the project for months, Jane decided to stand down and let someone else take the lead. And that's a wrap on stand down. We hope you now have a clear understanding of this versatile phrase. Remember, it's all about the context. Stay curious, keep learning, and until our next video, happy language adventures.